What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all the details for Season 3 in Battlefield 2042. Today we got tons of information from DICE about the new season and this is looking to be a really good update, kind of like what we experienced with Season 2. So Season 3 will start next week, November the 22nd. And of course, what's going to be coming with this new update in Season 3? A new map called Spearhead. Spearhead will be the first a uh, battlefield map set in Sweden, and it says Spearhead is similar in size to Stranded. Also, a new specialist named Rashid. Rashid will be a Egyptian-born assault specialist with a trait called Master of Recovery, which is faster health recharge on kills. Also, a specialty of an airburst launcher, which flushes out enemies behind cover. We'll also be seeing some new weapons in Season 3. The MK4 Railgun. This weapon is crafted with cutting edge technology using forces to launch projectiles uh, at crazy preposterous speeds, offering a versatile underbarrel system capable of multiple firing mode options. Also, we're going to get the NVK S22 Smart Shotgun. This double barrel semi-automatic weapon offers great destructive power in a compact and nimble package. And then the NVK P126 pistol. This weapon special, uh, specially manufactured long barrel makes it an ideal semi-automatic sidearm for engaging foes at long distance with high precision. Also going to get the new EMK V90TOR which is going to be a new tank. This is fueled by cutting edge railgun technology. It's a main battle tank that can shift into two different modes. Mobility mode in this mode, you'll be able to move swiftly across the landscape to transport you and your passengers with turrets available for your defense. And then siege mode. The tank comes to a crawl in this mode with lower suspension for added stability with quicker turret firing to deal more damage. And then active threat detection available in both forms it features a system that detects the source of incoming attacks, uh, in, incoming attacks with a certain range and display uh, displays them on your HUD. Also, the throwing knife will be available this season. This season's gadget is the return of an old favorite. Take enemies out quickly and quietly with deadly blades. Also, new assignments. All new assignments are coming to Season 3, meaning new portal guns will be available to use in Battlefield 2042's core mode. The XM8 LMG, the A91, and more will be added throughout Season 3. Now, I know a lot of people kind of get kind of disappointed at the amount of weapons we got in Season 2 and Season 3, but the great thing is a lot of these weapons from Portal are being added into the game each season, so that gives you more variety and more things to play with. As always, a new season brings a new 100 tier battle pass. Lots of new cosmetics are dropping this season. Uh, so new skins, uh, of course, there are also going to be some freebies included, like always, with the free tiers. So we'll have a full breakdown of the Season 3 battle pass real soon. Uh, they're also reworking some of the maps. Uh, the newly revised version of Manifest and Breakaway will debut this season. Manifest new version will deploy in December. The new version of Breakaway will debut in January. Also a rework to specialists. Coming uh, changes to specialists later in Season 3 to move them back to the Battlefield Classic class system. And this is due for release in early 2023. Each class will receive class equipment and class gadget of choice. Weapon proficiencies will become available and provided gameplay benefits for each class. For example, Recon will immediately be able to hold their breath for a consistent steady scope when using sniper rifles. So this is going to be a change back to that original class system we've always had in Battlefield and moving away from the specialist system. And I think this will make a lot of people in the community very happy. Uh, very happy. Excuse me. Also, uh, some more specific changes. Iris uh, will move, or Irish will move to support while Crawford moves to engineer. Irish will take Crawford's current trait, and so Crawford will receive a new trait geared towards engineer gameplay. Dice wants Rayo to fit better with the recon class, and Boris Turnt will target vehicles and prioritize them over soldiers. Of course, Dice said expect to see more uh, changes to the class system even through Season 4. So this is not going to be the only class changes they make. They will continue to make class changes as you know, we move through Season 3 and into Season 4. That's everything we got kind of told today from DICE about uh, Season 3 and the update. I'm sure we'll get more information, like they said, about the Battle Pass, probably some more information about an update, what exactly they're going to change, you know, nerfs, buffs, that kind of stuff. 
when all that information comes out, I will make a separate video on that. But leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys are excited about this. I think a lot of people, like I said, will be really excited to hear that DICE is working on changing those specialists back to those traditional style class systems we've seen in the past. And just like update, uh, the past update we got with Season 2, I think Season 3 is going to turn out to be just as good or if not better than the Season 2 update. So DICE is slowly but surely really improving the game and I'm hoping players will get back into playing now that all these improvements are being made. Anyway guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so and I'll catch you next time. Peace.